So if we break it down and empower everyone to create, share, reuse, interact the content, so it's empowered everyone. It's empowered to create, it's empowered to share, it's empowered to reuse. So what do we have to do to make this happen? And everyone is a very good word. It says a lot. It says that it has to be easy to use. It shouldn't be like the commercial tools where you, you need to go to school to use them. It has to be as easy as possible. We always have to strive to make it easy. It has to be accessible, of course. It should be accessible to everyone. If you are, I don't know if I use the political correct words, but if you are blind, if you are deaf, it, you should be able to use H5P. It should, should be a great experience to use H5P if you have a disability. Uh, H5P has to be free, of course. It's not only for the rich, it's for everyone. It has to be compatible, so no matter what other system you use, H5P has to work. And at least we have to make sure that if another system wants to use H4P, it's open source, it's licensed in a way that they can integrate it. I've seen many great integration examples here during, uh, during yesterday. It has to be known to everyone. everyone can't, you can't use something you don't know of. So we have to find a way to make everyone know about H5P. And it has to be customizable. It's impossible to make a tool that fits everyone. But if you can take the tool and you can add a little, remove a little, then you can use it. It has to be customizable. And when empowering to create, the most important thing is that you can create what you want to create. So we have to, we have, to have the right selection of things to create, and we, we, we call it content types, as you know. The right selection of content types and features. And the vision isn't really strong in, in telling us what content types and features we should have in detail. It says something, some of the things I already mentioned. But, uh, yeah, especially for, I'm the product owner, I need to have the largest heirs in the community. I need to know what's going on, I need to know what is the most wanted features. So uh, I'll be using my airs throughout the conference and uh, tomorrow especially we're going to try to gather a lot of wishes. We have had some already. we we'll gather more tomorrow to know where, where, where we should go with HVP, <coughs> what is the biggest wishes in, in the community. And we're also doing some new features on hvp.org to make sure that we get your wishes and, and know what are the most popular ones. Uh, empower to share. In order to share, we have to handle copyright really, really well. We are doing an okay job now on multimedia, images, audio, video. But uh, yeah, there's, there's, there will be more, more there this year. We need metadata. HVP almost don't have any metadata right now. It's by design, but uh, when the hub comes up, we need metadata so that people can find things. If you want to, to share things, obviously, you have to make, make it easy for people to find the things that you share. And you need a place to share it. So there's where the HVP hub comes in. It's always been planned. We, we need a hub. We need to make it easy for all users of HVP to just with one click share their content in a hub, make it available for everyone using HVP. Um, and reuse, it's much of the same, but if you want reuse in the world of interactive content, you can't expect people to reuse exactly as is. It, it doesn't happen. So you have to uh, make it really, really easy to change. You want to add a question, you want to remove one, you want to add an option, maybe you want to translate, maybe you want to make it a little bit more difficult, a little bit easier. This, this has to be easy then we can really reuse. 